When pandemic lockdowns led to millions of layoffs, housing activists took to the streets calling for rent relief as a massive wave of evictions loomed. And the movement to help people keep their homes got a boost when the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a moratorium on evictions. But as the coronavirus pandemic moves into its second year, Reuters uncovered cases such as Marvia Robinson, where landlords have sought to evict tenants anyway. Robinson, a 63-year-old Greyhound bus driver, was struggling to make ends meet after the coach line cut her hours, and she fell behind on rent on her Orlando home. But an Orange County rent relief program offered landlords $4,000 in back rent, and Robinson emailed the property owner, Invitation Homes, to see if it would take that to cover what she owed. Instead, it suggested she seek help from payday lenders or try selling blood plasma, hair, and donor eggs. In January, Invitation Homes sued to evict Robinson. Two days later, Robinson filed a handwritten declaration with the county civil court attesting that she qualified for relief under the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's national moratorium on evictions. It didn't work. In February, an Orange County judge approved Robinson's eviction, and by March, she was out. A spokesperson for Invitation Homes said it would not comment on individual renters, but said the company had the right to challenge the CDC moratorium when renters made no arrangements to repay rent due. The fight over rent can pit tenants scrambling to make ends meet against mom and pop landlords heavily reliant on rental income. But a Reuters review of hundreds of court filings as well as interviews show it's the big deep pocketed corporate landlords with portfolios spanning multiple states that have been the most aggressive in filing eviction cases. Robinson now lives out of her car and stays with friends or when she has the cash in a hotel.